Yeah, no one's even considering it. No one's even looking. Just oh, out in the open. Beautiful. Magis tears him down. Take a bow. Magical boy. Ah! <laughs> Precisas de novas skins? Regista-te em CSGO Fest e faz os teus teammates invejosos. Dá boost na tua inventoria em alguns cliques. Coloca o promo code e obtém bónus. Link na descrição do vídeo. Gets it out for a mid to be smoked. Magis may be cut off. He's going to flash as well for fight. And they're going to run it wild. Spix needs to hit some of these shots because he falls with nothing. And Dupree's in hot water. Dupree. Yeah. Oh, mate. The sheer speed. The level of lethality already established. But the numbers dwindling. And it's just on Apex and a one versus four already getting battered. As Astralis has turned this opening round into an abattoir. We can touch on exactly why in just a moment because the execs coming in. Sphinx. So low on health that Molly has really done a number to him. Brings it down low. Magis holds the line and Sphinx trying to help out. Peppers one through this smoke. Trades immediate. Deep. Lave up close. Oh, the change of the guns, the reload. It's all yeah. super scary. That is a combat reload. And Magis takes the space in with the reply. Blame F cannot win this round. He is just saving. Very surprising to even see him trade off the gun. You know, sure, he finds it, but it has five bullets. The reload in that position is, is crazy. And that might be enough to put the fear in Astralis. They have loved this B-site. Buzz wow. cons uh, consistently getting entries on this site right now for Astralis. He's going to hold off, wait for that re-aggro. Sphinx is nowhere to be seen. Apex dropping in. He's got a nade. Molly goes out, and that's a nice angle for Buzz, but Apex only needed one bullet. He'll connect it. Device found an entry. Meanwhile, they're going to run him up, up on ramp. I will hear Magisk holding the fort at the top of the ramp side as well. Just out on an island taking every fight. We'll get oh. run down. Apex with a clean tap to find Blame F. Now starting to lean away back in the middle and trusting the sight hold to Zai Wu, and it's a very safe pair of hands to leave this in. Zip in the clutch. And spotted that all crossing, but it's another thing to win this fight. They're peeking together. Lovely yeah. bit of interplay between Apex and Zai Wu. They're harassing. Even if you factor in the added pressure he's under here, normally a lot of players, they can take that pressure and crumble. Instead, with him, it seems like almost as if he's turning into a bit of a diamond, right? He's finding those key frags. He's playing his style of CS. And Astralis, you're not meant to win this round, attempting to make the best out of a bad oh. situation. The Din Quanta Dupree ends with him being slain, but just really does have to lay down the law and he wants even more free nice. frags found for vitality to grab themselves four on the board blame f really wanting to take a fight a ramp aggro starts out of the mat posted for a short side swing the nade brings him down just a tad and looking through the gap on yellow is this orb of zaiwu again Oh, they smoke dropped in, but Zai Wu going to pluck them out of the round through it. Device scratching his head, never even saw what hit him. Look at this. And down Glaive right behind the smoke will reclaim one. Dupree turns the tides, winning an important B fight onto Buzz. Glaive smoke spammed out. Zai Wu going to win that head-to-head -head versus Device. That's all you want, really. You just want you just want these fights. You just want the ramp fights between Zai Wu and Device, constantly changing it up and, uh, you know, applying different util and pressure, taking different spawns. These are the fights that you're here for. Sip with nothing to do and nowhere to go. Vitality will find five. And back on your point about the smoke as well, it is interesting, Max. I think that like started cropping up like September of last year. I saw a few sort of players well, in the UK. That was the chance. That was the opportunity to get involved on the orb. Sails right by him. The nades have done so much damage. Astralis are all low. And I mean, this looks pretty ugly right about now. Yeah. Oh, the jump up, though. Feeds himself to the beast. Device can re-smoke as well, but just does trade him out on top of the sandbags. These smokes are making things very uncomfortable. Zywu runs back. Oh, it's a headshot angle. He cannot find that kill. Zip and Blame keep this round alive. And suddenly, Astralis, who looked dead in the water, have swum up to the surface. Dupree, this is a great timing on a flank, but they're watching for it. Can he find this easy kill? Now the second waiting for him. 
Dupree doesn't know, and he's right below. Blame with a clutch and the closer. Three kills from Blame F. But by Stephen waiting, see if anyone gives him a peek. And oh, double swung. It's about to come through. The trade found by Apex, the man he tagged earlier on. And now Astralis hit the go button. You've seen that ramp aggro coming in. You know there's got to be a gap somewhere. Gap is not in middle with Sphinx holding on to the rotate up through CT and construction. And the play kind of slows down now for Astralis. They tried to go quickly. They tried to punish the info that they had. The three players on that lean over towards A. That info now dissipates. Vitalik, you have a time to move around the map here. Still following through with the B play, but it's into a bit more of a lean here, a bit more of a stack. Zywu even posted with that AWP. He spoke is huge here, but Spinks is going ahead with a flashbang. Two players lined up, and Spinks does well, but Blame is known for his clutching. However, up against the Frenchman, Vitality have a smoke in their repertoire as well. It's going to get thrown down on the bomb. Zywu swaps off the orb. Blame feels the pressure as Zywu taps him out of the round. Vitality with a retake and respond very quickly. They still don't know. Zywu and Device on the site clash. And Majisk, he can win this entire round. Yeah, no one's even considering it. No one's even looking. Just oh, out in the open. Beautiful. Majisk tears him down. Take a bow. Magical boy. And that's after Device gets on default with the or rather in front. He is forced to confront his opponents here in middle. Sim gets tucked in. Sphinx seems aware. He needs this kill desperately or they lose all control of middle and Spinks will survive. One more man gone down as well. And Spinks star in middle. These are four on two. The Vitality should have no issue sweeping up. Big blame F though. Benjamin Bremer himself looking to see if there is physically anything he can piece together off the back of what he's been left with here. A one versus four. Limited utility, a smoke and a Molotov AK in his hands. Oh, Apex with the timing on the jiggle as well. Gets the information he needs. The rotation call comes in. And not only are you now forced to try and win this clutch, you've got to win it against the stacked site of A. Yeah, this should be undoable for Blame F. Around the corner, and there's the death certificate signed. Apex's signature on it, and a 10-5 burst half bound for Vitality. It's lights out. It's not an easy sight to hold on your own, as we learned from that first half. His entire team stacked uh, on A, and, well, Vitality stacked against him. Boosted up his Dupree. Flashes start to fly in. Now they know his position, and Dupree nails that headshot. That is essentially... Possibly even the round. Glaive has kit double flash. They were prepared for this retake, but a man down with nothing done and with deep position taken, plus the flank covered. Oh, this might be cleared. Oh, it might be everything for Majisk. He walls them on the flank. Three headshots. Majisk is having one hell of a day. One HP. It's a nice trade of contacts, right? Buzz will definitely get spotted first, and then Zip can. Try and multi-kill, but they're going to run boost along. It looks like that makes things very hard for Zipnix. He's going to spray away. He gets a kill, but so Buzz got pre-fired by Spinks. And yes, they are low. Very much so. Blame on a flank. There's another one for one. You'll take these if you're Vitality, just given the low health. But the Molotov is available. However, gun out for Blame and very good timing while he looks to close the round. He's got the cross on the stairs. Dupree has been dismantled and Spinks. It's all up to him. He's already found three frags, but Device is creeping on in. Trapped between a rock and a hard place, and Device will be the one to smash him in the face. Or are they going to get on his head? Oh, it's a flash instead. Repeat. Ready? That's a blistering shot and an even faster pace as Zywu runs up the ramp with his entire team. They are beating the timing here. There's no one ready for this. Why would you be ready for this? Glaive will trade and keep this round intact for now. Can he regress? Off the back of that Molotov, it was all a ruse anyway. Magis needs this entry kill. He's been spotted and played like a fiddle by Buzz, but the back stabs in. Spink should have this absolutely every time, and he'll take that trade, opening up a plant. Zywu arrives. The flank on the back line. He's stepping his way up to success here. Zywu's back, barely covered. The full frontal attack works out for Zip on the Spinks, and he's got to get oh. the bomb planted, pushed in, as he'll just hold W and clean up another he round. Come back to him. Device, meanwhile, has an angle down ramp. 
Looking for Zaiwu specifically with this peak, but Zaiwu's pick blame on that full send. Resmoke under the ramp, waiting for more. And this is how Astralis were looking early in the half as well, taking these dry fights and losing out more often than not. Device takes a safer angle, but they're walking up a close wall. Glaive's going to spot it, but maybe too late. Device has to hit that shot. Glaive turns around and helps out as they attempt to trade. Apex had to give that a go, but it doesn't work out. Four on three now. Astralis regain control. Yeah, the one way is even nice. It means the Vitality can't like look to peak the ramp and see what's happening here, right? You'd be paranoid about swinging out because you've heard that smoke go off. You know that they've employed the one way. And even though Astralis aren't playing it, this, this buys you a lot of time, right? Because if you'd elected to smoke anywhere else, Vitality might be a little deeper up ramp now. They're a little oh faster to God. launch this attack. Zip this coming early. in with a backstab as well, starting to piece together exactly where this round is going. He has got all three Beautiful. on a platter right here in at the sandbags. There's even device if Zip can't accomplish it on the flank, but he's lived up to his side of the bargain. And even though they see this orb, oh. dealing with it is another matter entirely. Five in a row. These lines and peaks come to them, but more often than not, Astralis are a pretty slow team. Uh, and I think it hurts them on t hops but I think on CT sides, these guys have a tremendous amount of stopping power. Uh, so seeing them embark upon this after such a one-sided first half, I, that was where the worry comes from. But now that they've built upon this uh, and they're really starting to believe in the comeback and you're starting to see these pieces come together, even getting some aggro plays, but not in the early round. It more so comes in the mid round from Astralis. You know, is this CT side taking a fairly beautiful shape? And, you know, we've got everyone starting to come alive. Zip was one of their, one of their fraggers back at ESL Pro League, man. And that was someone who was struggling a lot in the kind of, I was going to say, uh, I, don't, I don't know, you know, the, the post-major grouping of Astralis, right? Like the, the post-champion Astralis. Zip felt like he was the guy having most of the... That may not be the end goal here. It comes at Util. Blame going to get blinded and pushed off. There's that early smoke. It's up to Glaive. He needs a kill. He falls off and survives. Blame is blind though and burning alive. Apex will take it and they change routing in the mid round. He goes into the smoke. The rest of his team going B. This is splitting uh, apart right now and Astralis have a B stack. They are poised, so ready for this play. Device entrusted with everything right now, but he's good for the job. How the hell are they going to crack this site open? Buzz, ready and raring to go. Up the ramp, Dupree gets ahead of him. Zip holds the line with a double. And there's Glaive. He has his teammates back every step of the way. It's Magis to try and tear this comeback dream away from Astralis in the 1v2. Time's not on his side, but he nearly could have done something in that swing. Yeah, so they can pull back from where they're going. They're leaving right now. Barrel spotted. Magisk. Oh, oh, the swing off that flash. Buzz whiffs a shot. Magisk is going to sell this one. They want nothing to do with it. They've got all of Astralis' attention right now. Even Device is considering the rotation. But wait. Back they go. Yeah, Only bombs five. grouping in mid right now. Device they want to try and commit player. to this B hit. So Device with the backstab. Might have to offer something up as now this mid hit on the cards over construction too strong here. Blame F could stop this if he can find the bomb crossing. Here's the chance, but Apex won't let it happen. One kill from Device oh, in the right oh, place. Oh, could have wow. hoped to win this, but Magisk has read the flank. And so finally, Man, Vitality. This is nice, but will he be able to pick himself up two frags on contact here? Instead, deviates away from the angle. The nade of Blame has to slow them down. He needs to find the kills. One for one trade isn't good enough. This puts them into peril now. This 29th round's got 30 seconds left and Vitality, they're looking to cop the head clean off, secure it here. They rotate back to B as well. They've got the read on the round, but they slow this down. Zywoo's coming back. Device has pushed in with a oh, deagle. No. He hits the headshot. Bomb drop. Needs to find a follow-up, but he's left him no with 15 time. seconds. No time Even with the time they've got, they're not going to make it. They can't do it, they need the kills. 10 seconds, living, Glaive takes one with him. And even though he dies, I don't think there's a hope in hell. Apex had to hit that A site. He had to hit that plant and there was no one there to save him. Wow. They split and take a couple with him. Dives out behind the smokes. Four players from Astralis here. Almost everyone. And of course it's Iwu to find that kill through the smoke. He doubles up. This guy wants to go to Paris and this is the first step in that direction. Dupree now dead. Apex also tagged up and set up in a post plant here with limited util for Astralis to work with. They're going to have to battle back in to this retake. 
No flanks. No util. That one smoke goes out now. So this one all relies on the duels for Astralis. They might just have to get on this bomb and pray. Find it. They might just have to find the bomb and pray. Glaive can't locate it. Finally gets his eyes on the prize. But oh, oh. Glaive, two quick kills. Here's the swing and Apex seals the deal. Vitality in a full 30 round affair. will lock in their opening game on that run. To Paris. That is a mind blowing map, and to see Glaive and Apex clash. <laughs>